People living in the Southeast Valley have reclaimed their neighborhood from gang members, drug addicts, and other bad characters. The story is even more amazing when you hear where they live. We went out there today to find out how they did it. We never win it. No, we never win it. And when we got to Sportsman's Royal Manor, a by-the-week rental on Tropicana and Boulder Highway, we saw a lot of relaxed faces, from the residents who live there, their children, the people who manage the complex, to the police and security who patrol it. Everyone seemed chill, which was the first sign of a turnaround. There was a lot of bad things happening as far as people getting hurt, a lot of domestic violence, um, a few shootings. And this was always known as the bad place to live. Sportsman's Royal Manor was known to police and our news photographers as one of the most violent complexes in the valley. The challenge has been, you know, East Las Vegas, if, if you're looking for trouble, you'll find it here. Okay, so to turn that is very, very difficult. The numbers show just how difficult. In 2016, nearly 2,000 calls, including 15 robberies, 85 assaults, 14 shootings. Metro realized it couldn't just arrest itself out of a criminal problem that passed from generation to generation. Officers needed to be a constant but not menacing presence. That might just be getting out and walking the complex, saying hello to kids, talking to a, a community member, or if they did see a crime occur, yes, take some action on that. At the same time, Sportsman's Royal Manor's owner poured more than a million dollars into upgrades like landscaping, lighting and fencing. And there was also divine intervention. A local church provided food and job resources. It was a little scary at first, and then it became very um, normal and natural. I mean, it's what we're supposed to do. It's what the church is supposed to do. We've seen the crime rate go down, probably into the two worst crime areas in the state of Nevada. We've seen it go down. Remember the 2016 numbers, nearly 2,000 calls, 15 robberies, 85 assaults, 14 shootings, and the numbers last year. 556 calls, two robberies, 13 assaults, one shooting. Charlene can now appreciate the things that many of us take for granted. And slowly but surely, it got very easy to walk the property and not worry about getting hurt. They just turned a problem complex into a community. And Metro called Sportsman's Royal Manor a Phoenix Zone, a community rising from the ashes of its past. It designated the community a crime-free complex, the only designation for a weekly rental in the Valley. Metro says Sportsman's Royal Manor is now a case study in how to turn other violent complexes around. And they've identified two in the southeast where they'd like to apply what they've learned at Sportsman's.